Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So here we are with a general reading for your sign. This may or it may not resonate with all of you watching. Again, this is general. So yes, just take it how it fits for you. Now let's get going. Okay, we're going to come over here on the left and um, briefly talk about some recent past energy and then we'll get into the rest of the reading. All right, so we've got the Ace of Wands, the Star card, the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. All right, so some of you were dealing with a um, person or a situation where there was a lot of chemistry and attraction between the two of you, okay? But I also feel like somebody's feelings got hurt here with the uh, Three of Swords. You guys know this can represent cheating or some sort of deception. And if that wasn't the case, it could just, um, you know, signify that somebody ended up disappointed or somebody's feelings were hurt here, okay? Either yours or theirs. But I also feel like somebody still wanted to fix this though. Somebody still wanted to work on this and somebody still have faith in this uh, connection with the star card, all right? Now, coming up here to the top with your energy, Libra, you guys have the uh, death card, the um, ace of pentacles, the will of fortune, and the knight of wands. Some of you, you still want this person. Yep, you do, okay? Maybe you thought things ended or you thought your feelings for them were gone, but I feel here some of you, the, the feelings or the emotions have been resurfacing here. Um, lately okay for some of you now others of you I feel like maybe you did end it and um, you know because that's what the death card is it's about endings and it can represent change and transformation as well so some of you may want to uh, transform this connection somehow or this is just maybe what you're going through in your own life some of you are just um, leaving this behind though okay with the death card and going towards um, uh, better opportunities for yourself okay with the ace of pentacles it could be a new job um, a new business or relocating here for some of you, all right? And uh, you taking action and manifesting whatever you want to um, bring into your life here, all right? So for the most part, I feel like that energy up there is pretty positive, okay, Libra? Now, let's move on down here to the bottom with your person, okay? So they've got the Seven of Swords, the Chariot, the Nine of Cups, and the Temperance, all right? Some of you, I think this person does uh, kind of want to move forward with you. They do want you in their life, okay? There is a sense of... Um, happiness or wish fulfillment that they feel with you with the nine of cups and they're willing to invest here i feel with the uh, temperance this represents patience but um and balance too but i feel like there's something um deceptive about them yep it is with the seven of swords is someone who's who could be quite sneaky or they're lying about something, hiding something from you, or they could be doing something behind your back, okay? And it may not be them like being physical with other people. It could be them flirting with others, or it could be about money here for some of you, okay, that they could be um, lying about. But whatever the case is, it's like they're kind of in their shadow energy, yet and still they want to push things forward with you as well, okay? So I don't feel like they truly want to lose this um connection here and again some of you could be dealing with an aquarius with the uh, seven of swords all right so um let's come here into the center and talk about what's actually challenging this uh situation so we've got the nine of pentacles the six of wands the tower and the four of wands all right so somebody here wants to be single somebody wants to maybe have their cake and eat it too okay because the nine of pentacles is all about singlehood independence and being um, a little bit detached is what I feel, okay? So I don't know if it's you or them. Somebody is very self-absorbed as well, okay? It's what I feel. With the Six of Wands, this can be someone who gets a lot of attention. So either you or them, somebody is um, very attractive here and a lot of people may want to talk to them or date them or again, they get a lot of attention from others and they kind of uh, relish in that, okay? So some of you, maybe they're paying attention elsewhere and maybe not so much on this connection or either you're doing this uh, Libra, okay? But um, yeah, somebody is definitely all about themselves. And to be honest, the Nine of Cups can represent that as well. To me as a reader, um, you know, for the most part, it is a positive card. It, you know, it represents somebody getting what they want and wish fulfillment and, um, you know, things being in alignment. But it could be someone who's, again, self-absorbed and all about them, okay? But um, however, with the Tower card being here and the Four of Wands, some of you may live with them, okay? With the Four of Wands, this could represent a home environment, or, um, you know, some sort of uh, living situation here. Maybe somebody's getting put out or there's something happening in the home here with the uh, tower. This represents a blow up, shake up, disruption or drama, uncomfortable energy here, okay? Could be an ending for some of you. I don't know, okay? Feel free to get in the comments and let me know what's going on if uh, this is resonating with you, all right? 
But um, just to kind of summarize that, I think that this person is hiding something. Okay, guys, they're um, they got a side to them that you don't really know. Okay, um, no matter how long you've been with them, they they definitely have another side here that um, they're keeping hidden, basically. All right. Now, let's come over here to the right and talk about where things could be headed here. Um, we've got the uh, Moon card, the Devil, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or a Capricorn. So, I just talked about something being hidden, and that's what we have here as well, okay? The Moon card is about secrets or things being in the dark. This is also about fear, anxiety, or some sort of shadow energy here. And the Devil card can represent toxicity, or obsession or control issues or narcissistic energy okay it's it, it means a lot of things and most of the time it's uh quite negative okay guys but um i feel like somebody's possibly trying to break free from this because we've got the six of swords this is about moving on letting something go leaving it behind okay and it could be somebody could be dealing with an addiction okay it may not be this relationship necessarily it could be a behavior or a mindset or a way of doing things okay that maybe wasn't healthy that somebody's uh leaving behind okay for a few of you and with the seven of wands this is someone um being very guarded and defensive okay so yes i feel like um i feel like some of you this is over i'm just gonna be straight up okay guys because somebody here is more focused um elsewhere uh, getting attention from other people or being single or whatever and intuitively i feel like it's this person i do okay but i feel like somebody's gonna end up just kind of uh letting this go this is kind of dark energy here it really is and somebody's gonna go ahead and move on from this all right so that's what came out libra if this resonated feel free to like share comment and subscribe i wish it was more positive but hey that's not always how tarot goes okay so yes um thank you guys and i'll see you next week take care